Joining me now, Keith Dane, Director of Equine Protection for the Humane Society of the United States. Uh, before we get to what Americans can do to stop this, tell us exactly what you say you uncovered. Well, Jane, this investigation by the Humane Society of the United States pulled back the curtain on one of the most egregious practices against horses, the most brutal torturous practices that we've ever seen against horses, and that's the soaring of Tennessee walking horse, horses. It involves the application of caustic chemicals to their feet that burns into their skin, causing so much pain that when they step down with a chain around their ankle that hits that, that ankle, it causes them to flinch and, and create a high-stepping gait that wins ribbons in the show ring. Again, uh, this is the undercover footage, the undercover footage you obtained. I want to hear what do you say that this trainer was doing to these horses? Well, it was torture. He is abusing these animals for the sake of a blue ribbon. He's causing pain in order to get these horses to step higher, and that's what wins ribbons is the higher the gate, the, the bigger the award. So this guy was intentionally abusing these animals just to further his coffers and get blue ribbons in horse shows. The trainer at the center of this video is now facing a federal indictment. When this was recorded last year, Jackie McConnell was on a federal disqualification list but continued to train horses. Now, he has no comment about these charges. But is this a larger problem? ABC News reporting at last year's championship in a random inspection, federal agents found foreign substances either to cause pain or to hide pain around the front hooves in all 52 horses tested. That's 52 of 52 horses showing, according to the Humane Society, uh, what is a horribly cruel, illegal training practice. You know what? Uh, you got to ask, what does it say about the industry centered around these high strutting horses? Why should horses strut in an unnatural fashion to begin with? Why do we have to take God's perfection and twist it to our own ego needs. Leave the horses alone. Let them be horses. That's what I say. Let's stop it. Go to the Humane Society of the United States website to learn how you can help these horses. HSUS.org. Uh, Keith Dane, what was your emotional reaction when you first saw this video? Well, Jane, as an animal lover and as a horseman, I was outraged by it. It's sickening. It's painful to watch. Some of the scenes in this video are things that no one should ever have to see, and we have to, unfortunately, witness it in order to know what's going on and be able to take action and be outraged enough to demand that action uh, is taken. Let me tell you something. The, the person who went undercover for the Humane Society of the United States may well have put his or her life at risk um, right. to capture this footage and speak for the voiceless horses. Get involved. Join the Humane Society of the United States. Uh, follow the links. Write and end this horrific practice. These animals cannot speak for themselves.